Yo, what is up Clashers? Welcome back. My name is Beaker. Today, we're going to do some farming. Here I've got 10 giants, 10 wall breakers, and some barbs and archers. This is a real classic army. Just super simple. Nothing crazy about it. Uh, no dark elixir troops, no goblins, nothing. And it's good when you're boosting your barracks because you can just jam those troops in and go. So here we've got a raid I did earlier. I wasn't recording at the time, but we'll watch the replay because it was a pretty good raid using this army. We're going to start at the top. The giants are going to get a little distracted. They're going to go down the side here. Look, if this guy had spring traps right there, I would have been like, boo, my giants would have been gone. But no, he did not. So, now we're just shooting for these two gold storages here. Should be no problem. We got the raid spell, and pretty much it's all over now. I mean, all these troops are coming in, supporting troops. Uh, the defenses are all distracted, and boom, storages are down. Where's our Barb King? Oh, there he is. He's on the side. What's up, man? You just hitting some barracks? Awesome. See ya. Okay, here's Archer Queen. She is on point right now. She is... Getting helped by some archers and barbs on the side, and then she's right in the middle, just boo, 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 hitting those storages. Archer Queen ability, boom, hit that storage, done. Yeah, we can basically get out of here now. We got three, almost 350,000 gold. Awesome raid. See what I'm saying? I mean, this army can do it, man. This is a simple army. Nothing special about it. We only used one spell. You know, it, it can't take on Inferno as well, unless I bring a Freeze, but it, in that case I would need more than one spell, and really, if you only have one spell, you want to have a Rage. Rage spell, that's my opinion. So, let's see what else we can find. That was a good raid, but maybe we can find some more like it. Here's how I queue this army. I do five Giants, followed by Archers, then five Giants, followed by Barbs. In the next two Barracks, I do five Wall Breakers, followed by Archers. And it's the same in those last two. So you end up with a, a ratio of archers to barbs, three archers to one barb. You want more archers. Uh, barbs are good, but in this army, you've got enough tanking troops with the giants. So you don't need more barbs. So let's see what we can find here. This is a perfect raid. Um, it would be nicer if the storages were closer together, but we know we can get at least two of these storages. Sometimes, when you can't find loot, you just crash into a base like this, try to get two storages, and there, you've got 200,000. I do this a lot. Even if I don't get 50%, that's okay. I honestly want to lose trophies right now, because I'm a little sick of high Masters League and Champions League. I just can't find loot. I mean, unbelievable. It's, it's unbelievable to me that people in Champion protect their resources, but they do. But, you know, I protect my resources in Champion. Well, kinda. I mean, I don't all the time. I mean, honestly, yeah, sometimes I leave my Dark Elixir outside. I leave uh, my gold outside sometimes. So I don't get why, why everyone else has to protect it so much. But here we go. Let's clear the corners. We're going to throw archers and barbs down on the corners. Those uh, army camps are super easy to take out now. We want to take those out so our main force here doesn't get distracted. There's the giants. I spread them out with like, I usually use one hand with like four fingers. And there we go. We are going into the base. I'm going to drop my heroes. I always save some archers and barbs. I don't spam them all at once. We want to keep funneling them in here. Because if you throw them in all at once, they're pretty vulnerable to splash damage and inferno towers. So here we go. We've taken out one gold storage. Now we're rounding the base to the second one here. We've got two heroes in that compartment, so we're not leaving without that. That's for sure. We're going to throw away the rest of these troops because I don't want them. Um, if I don't use all my troops, I'll end up with too many of a certain troop. I don't want that. So here we go. Like I was saying, 200,000 gold, uh, almost no elixir, and I didn't even come close to 50%, but that was just kamikaze raid. Like I was saying, boom, smash in, get two storages, peace, out of here. And that's fine. If you can't find loot, just do that. That's what I've been doing. So I love the boosts. We've already got another army ready. Let's... Uh, re -queue it the way we want to. Like I keep saying, we want to have... I don't know what I'm doing here. I want Giants first, then Archers. Then Giants, then Barbs. Then Wall Breakers, then Archers. You want the Giants and the Wall Breakers first because you know you want that many. You know you want that many of that troop. So, you don't want any more or any less. 
So, you know, if you queued the archers first, you might have to end up with all archers, no giants, something like that. So, here we go. Let's try it again. This might end up being our last raid of the day, so we got to make it count. All right, here we go. We've got uh, a semi-inactive base. He's got some loot in the mines and pumps. He probably has some in the storages as well, but it looks like it's mostly in the mines and pumps. Problem is, right now, we've got those new mines and pumps. This would be full. It would be stacked if it wasn't for him upgrading some of them. Dude, like, started upgrading and then logged off for two days. What? Look at this. <laughs> this is like... What was that? So many skeleton traps coming after my one minion. <laughs> that's that's funny. I don't know why people put all their skeleton traps on air. I don't put any on air. I mean, those things are so trolly when they're on ground. They just troll heroes so bad. So I keep them on ground. Uh, here we go. We're going to try to snipe these ones on the bottom. These elixir and gold mines and pumps. Then we're going to move up to the top and just do a real... Real good old fashioned smash and grab. Uh, we're gonna smash into the base even though we don't need to. Uh, just because we can kind of thing. So here I can spawn right here and get this elixir. And that's basically it for this bottom half. There's one more gold, gold mine right here. I'll take that. And then we're gonna go up to the top and just get real western with this base. Oh, here's one more. Let's take that. And notice we still have a lot of troops left. Still 10 wall breakers, still 10, 10 giants, um, and a bunch of barbs and archers left. So this army has a lot of infantry with enough giants and wall breakers to get you into a base. So we're going to make two entry points and then spam our giants in two places. Then they are going to converge in the middle here. We're going to throw down a few wall breakers in a moment after we spread out those archers real carefully. Not carefully at all, we just spammed them. Here come the wall breakers and the heroes. Let's do this. Drop a drop a rage spell, and then we got the clan castle, and then it's a wrap. We are in here. This dude has a clan castle. What's up with that? He didn't look like he logged on in like 24 hours, but he has a clan castle. All right, that's cool. So we'll probably get 50%. No problem here. We're in this giant core with a bunch of troops. Yeah, there we go. Bunch of troops and heroes. Archer queen hasn't even taken a hit yet. So even though this wasn't a massive loot raid, it was still a lot of fun. Getting a smash into a base like that, we were able to take most of the loot on the outside and then, you know, when you're boosting your barracks, you can do fun stuff like that. You can just smash into a base for no reason and you don't have to worry about waiting 20 minutes to attack again because you can attack in 5 minutes. Boosting barracks is great and I wish they would do events like this every weekend. I mean, do we not deserve that, Supercell? Do we not deserve... You know, even if it was like, uh, I don't know, three gems to boost a barrack uh, on a Saturday or a Sunday. It would just encourage us to do that on the weekend. So, I don't know. I think there should be parties every weekend. But I'll complain to him when I see him. Uh, I did collect my war loot from my clan castle. It's always over a million uh, when we win. A million gold, a million elixir. So, I'm able to do one wall. That right there, my friends, is the life of a max Town Hall 10. That is all we get to do, that is our excitement every day, is to upgrade a wall or two. It's pretty boring. That's why I have other accounts, but <laughs> honestly, you know, I like it. I like seeing these walls get done. Eventually, they will get done, I promise. We're at about 90 left, or maybe a little less, so we're going to keep chipping away at them. But that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't tried the giant wallbreaker barb arch strategy, Definitely try it out today. Try it out with your boosts, and uh, it's a good army to just go rapid fire, boom, 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 attack back to back. So try it out. If you like this video, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on Beaker's Lab.